Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a very quick first impressions on a e.l.f. product. It is the Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearl. E.l.f. is a cruelty-free brand, so that's always a plus. So I'm gonna be kind of testing it out for myself. I'm gonna see how it kind of works on me and see if the hype is real about this product. So if you wanna see the result of the e.l.f. highlighter, then please keep on watching the video. So I just picked this up the other day and I've heard from a lot of people that it's really good. The only issue that people have been saying is that you have to scrape off the top layer because you don't get much um, highlight from just the initial product top layer. Yeah, see, like I'm scraping it, but like there's like nothing. I'm gonna scrape off the first layer. I don't know how much to scrape off though. Oh my lord. I'm spilling this. Okay. You guys doing good? I'm doing great. Just destroying this highlighter right now. I'm just gonna have a lot. So there are two different shades of this one. There's the Moonlight Pearl one, which I have, and then there's um, a more pinkish blush one. I think I scraped off enough. I don't know, we'll find out, but anyways. First, apply it on my face without um, any like spray or anything and I'm gonna see how it is alone and then I'm gonna put some spray and see if there's any difference with it and I just have a random brush like my highlighter brush is really bad like it died basically so I'm just gonna use this one for now let's see something okay so alone that's already really nice whirl okay See now, I like to amp it up, and I usually don't ever put highlighter on dry, so like this is sad, no highlighter girl, plain, and then boom. So yeah, already that looks really nice. So I'm gonna try it with the spray now. I do things really weird, I don't like to spray the brush, I, I like the method's fine, but I just prefer to spray like my whole face, cause one, I get my face hydrated, and then two, I just, I can apply the highlighter right on and I find it like a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just spray my face real quick with the Mario Badescu, um, facial spray. Spray or no spray. Mm, I feel like people that like a really soft highlight, right off the bat this will be really nice for you. I will say though you can build it up without it looking too chalky, at least for me it's not looking very chalky. But it is a nice, like, subtle highlight. Honestly though, I'm not hating on it. No, I think it's pretty good. My first impression on this is that it's really good, actually. I wouldn't say again that it's as powerful as like a higher end highlighter, like the ones I have used previously and there's other ones. But considering this is literally, oh, I don't even remember how much I paid for this, like what, like two, three, four dollars max. And I think it really does the job, like especially for people that just want something subtle and light, it's good. You can definitely build it up if you wanted, like a really intense highlight. Um, but obviously compared to like other highlighters, you wouldn't have to do as much work. It would just be like the first, literally the little first few strokes you'd be done. But I think this is really, really good. Yeah, I think it passed. I really liked it, so that is my first impression on this product. If you have any recommendations of other highlighters or any other products that are cruelty-free, um, feel free to let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick first impressions, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!